Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back into the uh, bush trips, the Unalaska, which is Dutch Harbor to Kalik Lake, and we're about 33% done, and today's leg is leg five, and we're going to be flying from Cold Bay to Nelson Lagoon. It's uh, going to be a longer flight. Uh, I think we're going to get uh, some more mountainous uh, terrain in here and then where I think we're going to get a lot of long uh, along the coastline it's about 112 nautical miles so if we uh, click on this uh, we can see that we're here it should take about uh, 53 minutes uh, but it's going to be a little uh, longer than that so I will see you in the uh, uh, cockpit of the uh, plane when uh, we're ready to fly. Okay, I am here in the cockpit, uh, ready to take off. We're uh, departing from Cold Bay Airport and we're going to he be heading northeast. Uh, if we go over here to our uh, map, BFR map, we're going to be taking off and heading along the balloon, cutting back and cutting up through here. Now I've set my elevation for about 4,600 feet. I believe that will be uh, the right elevation. So let's uh, go ahead and get started here. Uh, one thing I am disappointed in is that I can't click on the uh, GPS. So I get to uh, fly this, uh, but I'm hoping that uh, the altitude will, will stay steady and that I'm going up to 4,700 foot elevation. And then I think as we get uh, farther along, then we'll be able to drop on down. So let's uh, rev up and get started here. Oh, that's right. This doesn't start with the uh, brake on. See if we can get lifted off here. There we go. All right. Now, let's see if I can click this on. We should be starting to climb. I hope. And looks like we are. Okay, we are climbing at 300 feet. So all I've got to do is keep us on course and should be uh, heading out uh, over towards the lagoon over here. So let's start swinging around. I don't have to worry about the elevation. That will help considerably. We should bring our flaps up. Make sure we're at full flaps. And as we come around we are approaching the lagoon which we will be traversing a right along here around and up and over so uh, our uh, next point is going to be uh, what they call the uh, lower pond and then we're, so we're going to turn and head east uh, making our way toward the spit of the land so we're going to see if we can kind of keep everything on course here and uh, i'm going to uh, hop outside so you can kind of see the uh, visual beauty of here of alaska
So we should be coming up to Delta Creek right here. This should be uh, the uh, point of interest number three. And then we're going to be uh, turning towards uh, point four right here. So we're just coming over, and which means we're going to have to be coming up and over this uh, peak, this little hill in front of us. Little hill. Uh, so if we start uh, turning over this away, we should be heading in. Uh, let's see. I think. Let's see what the direction. We should be heading. Well, I think we should be heading about this direction here. 137. Which I thought we were at Delta Creek, but... So, I guess I uh, have uh, kind of the mixed up a little bit. So, we should be... That should have... Last one should have been uh, the lower pond. But we should be right about here now coming up and going to be coming up and over this uh, area right here. So if we go inside and we look to see where we are flying, we can see that we are heading right towards this area right here. So we gone by the pond. So now we are heading over the top right through right through here so I think we're going to get some really nice uh, visuals uh, but that was one of the reasons we had to go higher in elevation today so let's hop back outside This should be Belkovsky Bay, and I'm not sure if uh, Captain Harbor as well. Now we should be passing over. I'm going to start making a slow turn around here, and. Should be heading, I think, to go in and look at our map, kind of following along the point. And I believe, yeah, there's that uh, airstrip that we should be coming over. So if we come out and look at the cabin, we can see it right here. That's that airstrip. So we will be flying right over that and then uh, coming up to our next bay uh, that we'll be flying along the edge. I kind of lose track of these points, but I think uh, we have just uh, 
come to Captain uh, Captain's Harbor here, so that we should be flying something like uh, 60 degrees, 55 degrees. We're we're heading for this cove right here, which I'm thinking is Durskin Lagoon, I think. Or that would be actually this point over here. And then once we hit Dushkin, we are going to make a sharp right uh, heading for Edmonds Lake, which should be this lake right here. So continue to enjoy. Okay, we are just about to reach Dushka Lagoon, I'm pretty sure. That would be this right here, uh, and that's this point. And then we are going to be making a hard right uh, and flying towards Edmonds Lake. And we've been gaining elevation uh, to uh, make it up and through here, because we're going to be flying up through these uh, to the lake, and I believe up through kind of a mountain pass up through there. So continue to enjoy. I'll uh, kind of minimize this stuff and you can kind of uh, watch as we uh, go up through here. This is uh, Emmons Lake right through here. Uh, so we're going to have to uh, adjust. And we see the mountain just north of the lagoon, uh, behind the mountain. So we're going to follow the kind of, we're going to follow this around. And then I believe we, uh, if we look at the here, we're going to, yeah, we kind of hit the tip of the lake. And then we're going to follow this lake around to the end of the lake and then we're going to cut up and over and then we're going to make our way uh, to the coast so uh, yep just continue to uh, enjoy and then I probably won't say much until I get to the coast
back through there. That was the Allegheny Pinnacles. Uh, and then uh, this was uh, right below us here is the Cathedral River. And then we're going to be following the Cathedral River out to the shoreline. So uh, just kind of a point of interest there. So you kind of know where we're at. And then we're going to hit uh, the shoreline at uh, what looks like uh, maybe a little cove in here or something. Uh, and then we're just going to be flying along the coastline. Okay, I believe we should be right at, uh, let's see, this little spot right here is where this is, and so we are going to be heading along uh, the shoreline, and uh, let's see, uh, yeah, so we're just going to be heading along the shoreline here and just kind of following it along. Until we get to the uh, uh, Nelson Lagoon Airport. And you can see it right here. It's going to be sitting out on this spit. So, uh, yep, just enjoy. Again, this is the Bering Sea out and in here. And so uh, we are uh, ever so slowly uh, making our way up the Aleutians. Thank you. 
Okay, I am pretty sure we are about to reach this little uh, cove right here, which uh, should be that lagoon, I believe. And then uh, we should only be about 10 miles out from uh, uh, Nelson Lagoon, or we've just hit this cove. I'm not sure which. There's two... Two almost identical uh, points through here so but we are getting close so I do know that that's this cove right here and then our next uh, point we'll be looking for which I'm pretty sure is right up and in there and then the airport is right out there on the spit so uh, I'll let you enjoy and we'll uh, once I am ready to land, and uh, I'll probably start catching back up with you then. about to go inside the cabin and I have been slowly trying to get my uh, elevation down uh, but we have uh, we're alongside right here so we're not far out our airport is right there uh, so uh, we need to swing out a little bit so that we can land at that airport so I'm going to go inside the cabin now and uh, we are going to see if we can't uh, land and get down on the ground okay so you can kind of see the airport the the strip right right along there so that is where we are going to be uh, landing and there's not much there that's for sure Let's see if we can kind of level this thing out. I've been uh, fighting it. Uh, I tried to set some things up on it, and it's just not going to let you use the autopilot or anything like that on this trip. So I literally got to just kind of fly this all by, uh, by hand. See if we can put a flap out. And 
let's see if we can get lined up here. There we can see the blinking light of the airport. I sure wish we had a different plane, but uh, the Cup Crafter's not too bad. All right, let's start trying to slow down a little bit. Get lined up here. Another flap. Seems to be a little high. like there's a wind. I don't know if they've set that up. Okay, let's see if we can flare this thing down. Alright, let's start setting the brake. Holy smokes. All right, we're down on the ground. That was a adventure. Let's see, there we go, leg completed. Took us an hour and five minutes, uh, which I knew this was gonna be a little bit longer trip. Uh, it was 112 nautical miles, so we had uh, a lot of uh, flying through the mountains and stuff like that, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so that was, uh, Cold Bay uh, to Nelson Lagoon. So, yeah. All right, all you flight simmers out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Uh, and ring that bell. It'll let you know when I am uploading new videos, and I am uploading uh, videos all the time. Uh, I try to keep uh, videos up uh, each week out there. So, uh, yeah. All right, all you flight simmers out there, keep those smooth landings. Not quite like this one. Maybe a little smoother than that. Uh, but we're down on the ground. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.